Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're going to talk about related equations. They're kind of like your family tree, how people are related to you. Well, we're going to look at how equations are related to each other, um, kind of. They're also called, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth later, but they're also called fact families. If you've, heard of, if you've used the words fact families before, that's the same thing. All right, so by the end of today, we are going to be able to create related equations or fact families using equations that sometimes have variables in them. So we're going to say we're solving for variables. All right, let's take a look at this. Basically, a fact family or a related equation is writing an equation in a different way. It's not changing anything. It's just writing it in a different way. You may have called them fact families in the past, usually with just numbers. Um, but we're going to call them related equations for the duration of this lesson. So when we're writing a related equation, what we want to do is first select the three different parts of an equation. In this case, there's three different parts. There's one part that I've highlighted there in purple. Now I'm going to highlight the second part, 14 or 4. And I'm going to highlight the third part. Um, I'm going to use like a green for that one. And that's the 18. So there are three different parts. When you're writing related equations, basically what you want to do is write it in three different ways, isolating each part. So the first way I can write this is 18 is equal to 14 plus 4. And that's exactly what we have written up there. The next way I can write it is let's pick a different number, 14. 14 is equal to 18 minus 4. Right? We've just rewritten the equation in a slightly different way. Now let's look at the last final term inside of our equation, and that's 4. 4 is equal to 18 minus 14. All right? Same numbers, just a different order. They're called fact families or related equations. That's basically it. You find each term, and you say, how can I isolate each term? And that's what we're doing. Basically, you're taking each term and writing it by itself with the other terms over here. All right. You'll also notice one more thing. Because we have addition here, we're going to be using either addition or subtraction. In the future, we'll have some with multiplication. And we'll show you what happens with that. So with letters, they will look like this. I just want to talk about variables for just a minute. A variable is just a letter that represents a number. So if a plus b is equal to c, then c minus b is a, and c minus a is b. So that is the way that we would write these using letters. The way that I wrote them in the previous slide had the number by itself over here with an equal sign, and then the related equations all following the same format. Both are the same. Putting a on this side of the equal sign instead of this side of the equal sign over here. You'll notice that C minus B is equal to A. A is equal to C minus B. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. They're the same thing because they're on both sides of the equal sign. All right? So that is what related equations look like. Now, when we use other operations, this is um, an interesting equation. D equals RT. That means that D is equal to R times T. Now, I said before, when you have mult or addition, then the other equations had subtraction. Well, when we have multiplication, what we're going to do is that you'll notice here we use the opposite operation. So D is equal to R times T. R would be equal to D divided by T. And T would be equal to D divided by R. Now, sometimes it's helpful to stick numbers in there. D equals R times T. You could say, oh, here's an easy one. 6 is equal to 3 times 2. So if that's my D right there, and I can use hi a highlighter here to kind of emphasize this, if my D is green, that means my 6 is green, right? And I'll say 3 is red, R is red, and then we'll pick another color, purple, 2 and T. 
So you'll notice here that when you do this, d is our 6, r times t, 3 times 2. So I'm saying r, which is 3, 3 is equal to 6 divided by 2. And 2 is equal to 6 divided by 3. So you can use that. It's, you know that all these facts are true. 3 is actually equal to 6 divided by 2, and 2 is equal to 6 divided by 3. It's just rewriting them using all of the numbers. It's a little bit more complicated when you put in variables, because we're not used to using variables. All right, so let's go ahead and actually practice writing some related equations. So this one here, again, I've got 20 minus 15 equals 5. I'm going to take each of the three parts and write them separately by themselves. So there it's written with 5 by itself. Here it's written with 20 by itself. 20 is 15 plus 5. And 15 is equal to 20 minus 5. And if it's addition or subtraction, you only use addition subtraction. We don't go, when we're doing multiplication, we use multiplication and division. Subtraction, we're going to be using addition and subtraction. Okay, you know that all those fact families are true. Those related equations are, are true. So you get some ice cream. All right, let's try another one. A plus 6 is equal to 100. How do we write these related equations? You can pause the recording and try and write them on your own. I'm going to kind of go a little bit more quickly through this. I've got 100 by itself, so that's one of them. Next, I'm going to get A by itself. A is 100 minus 6. In other words, 94. And then I'm going to do one that has 6 by itself. 6 is equal to 100 minus A. Right? That's how I would write those related equations using, again, isolating each term for three separate equations. Now, here's one that has multiplication. So my related equations will be using division. So this one I have 60 by itself. This one here I have t by itself. t is equal to 60 divided by 4, or in other words, 15. And in the final one, I'm going to get the number 4 by itself. 4 is equal to 60 divided by t. Okay, related equations. Again, if it starts with multiplication, your related equations will be using division. All right? So say try a bone. That's what this guy here, this French guy would say. All right, one more related equation. This one here is a fraction. Remember, fractions are just division. This is saying 17 is 14 divided by e. So my related equation, I'm going to try putting one with 14 by itself. 14 is 7 divided by, or 7 times e, I'm sorry. And e is 14 divided by 7. e is on the bottom, so it's going to be 14 divided by 7. So those are my related equations. Again, if it's confusing to have that e in there, it might be helpful to try just sticking in a number. Like, make e equal to 2. 7 is 14 divided by 2. 14 is 7 times 2. And 2 is 14 divided by 7. Notice, again, I want to emphasize here that this fraction can be written this way, can be written using the division sign really the same thing. All right, so that is our lesson on related equations. Oh, I actually, E is equal to 14 divided by 7, and I concluded by actually writing in that that was equal to 2. Um, so that's our lesson on related equations. Hope that one's been helpful, and have a great day.